the dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the People Democratic Party PDP on Wednesday won the All Progressive Congress APC to perish the thought of impeaching River State Governor Sim Fobara. Moving on, we have some leaders of the All Progressive Congress have taken a swipe at the Governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseke, the People Democratic Party in the state, and his candidate, Asui Hodalo, over a less sponsorship of a smear campaign against the Governor candidate of APC, Sineto Monday Webholo. So, guys, before we proceed, Welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back update and information as it hurts. In case it's the first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, can you subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us on today's news. So guys, let's dive into the main gist. The People Democratic Party PDP on Wednesday won the All Progressive Congress to perish the thought of impeaching the River State Governor, Governor Similale Fubara. The party spokesperson, Debo Lugbunaba, issued a warning while reacting to River State APC Chairman Tony Okocha's call on the State House of Assembly to impeach Fubara. Okocha had made the call following Fubara's comment that he will not recognize the state's legislature and mean his rift with his predecessor and Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Yenso Wiki. Olubunaba drew the attention of the Inspector General of the Police to the subversive utterance of the APC Chairman in River State, which he said was capable of triggering crisis and deranging the democratic order in the country. Olubunaba's statement raised that the attention of the leadership of the People's Democratic Party has been drawn to a dilutional declaration by the Chairman of the All Progressive Congress in River State, Mr. Tony Okocha, wherein he issued a hallucinatory directive that an impeachment proceeding he commenced against his democratically elected governor of River State, similarly Fubara. Such reckless and unwarranted statement by the APC chairman in River State exposes the vile desperation of the APC, which is roundly rejected in River State, to use violence, coercion, and bully to undermine the will of the people and forcefully take over the state. The fact that River State APC chairman in his wife imagination think he can direct impeachment proceeding against a duly elected state governor not only show the level of APC arrogance and condensation for the people of River State, but also further confirm that APC's desperation to forcefully annex their democratic rights under the constitution. So in any event that an individual of River State APC chairman directed to commence impeachment proceeding against governors similarly Fubara are not legally members of River State House of Assembly and cannot be contemplated or exercise such power under law that these individuals by virtue of Section 101 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended have seen vacated and lost their seats, rights, privilege and recognition an obligation accurately to members of the River State House of Assembly after their defection from the PDP, the political platform upon which they were elected into River State House of Assembly. So, for emphasis, Section 101 of the 99 Constitution provides that a member of a House of Assembly shall vacate his seat in the House if being a person whose election to be House of Assembly was sponsored by a political party, he becomes a member of another party before the expiration of the period for which that house was elected that it should be noted that section 101 of the constitution is self-executory that the import of this provision is that the member of river state house of assembly who defected have vacated their seats by reason of defection so the unlawful directive by the river state apc to this individual to commence an impeachment proceeding against the governor therefore is a brazen call for anarchy as it's a man to an attempt to forcefully overthrow a democratic order in clear violation of section 1 subsection 2 of the 99 constitution as amended so now look now said that the apc must perish the thought of forcefully taking over river state as such is a direct assault on the sensibility of the people which will be registered firmly that the apc chairman in river state should come to terms with the fact that river state is a home to pdp and that the people of River State are not ready to put their destiny in the hands of corrupt, oppressive and anti-people special purpose vehicle like the APC. The national leader of the PDP expresses appreciation to the people of River State for always standing with the PDP and urges them to continue to resist the APC in their vicious attempt to inject violence and stabilize the state. Moreover, PDP is not known for that. 
So I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one. Some leaders of the All Progressive Congress have taken a swipe at the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, the People Democratic Party in the state, and his candidate, Asi Hodalo, over a less sponsorship of his May campaign against the governorship candidate of the APC, Senator Monday Oweweho. The leader who are members of APC said that PDP, Obaseki and Uhodalo have become desperate over fears that they will suffer a humiliating defeat in the upcoming ownership poll. So a group network of civil society organizations in Nigeria recently held a press conference and also petitioned the Inspector General of Police, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, among others, over claim that Monday Obeboho spread Naira at a public function. In a statement made available to the newsmen, and it was signed by the National Coordinator, David Osarobo, the leader, wondered why Desperate Obaseke and his political godson Asui Hodalo will resort to character assassination in order to score cheap political points. He said that leaders of the civil society were heavily induced to tarnish the image of Monde Obeho, whose popularity they said has risen since he emerged as the candidate of the APC. David said that as a private and public person that Monde Obeholo has never spread or mutilated the Naira, insisting that the video agent of the governor and the PDP members are sharing on social media does not belong to Senator Monde Obeho. David revealed that in Obeho's over 50 years on earth that he has never been arrested by the police for any civil or criminal offenses. And he wondered why the PDP and their agents will fabricate fake news to tarnish his image ahead of the election where he is favored to win in the poll. Osarabo warned those behind the rumor petition and state agents to apologize for misleading Edo people. He also called on the IGP to investigate the faces behind the petition and prosecute them accordingly. David Osarabo said that Emperor Godwin Obaseke, the crisis reading PDP, and their novice candidate, Ihudalo, have decided to resort to cheap blackmail. They know that they will lose the election. That is why they are jittering, that they are scouting for fake news and non existent things to blackmail Mondo Bobo and lie to Edo people. But unfortunately for them, they know what they are up to, that they are smelling the defeat already, that Edo people have already decided, and no amount of state sponsor intimidation will work. So they have it on good authority that faceless group was heavily induced financially by those states' governments that let the state government deny the claim. The leaders of the group were bribed. <laughs> Why people don't be small matter they are both for those states. Well, they said unfortunately for them that the people can see the clear handwritten on the wall that their plans will fail and they will remain focused and ensure that their candidate wins. That in Edo State, that President Polame Tunubu led APC administration is working and the federal government is reconstructing rules in Edo Central, Edo North, and Edo South. The APC led federal government is also planning to implement other social welfare programs in Edo State. So, this is the reason why it is important for Edo people. That is what? David Osarobo said, for Edo people to take side with the APC and vote for Mont Obeho as the next governor of Edo state because they are bringing the federal government closer to Edo people and they have been isolated for too long. So it is time to end that, that there is no going back and they must liberate Edo states from the grip of mini tyrants and economy scavengers who want to use their common wealth to enrich themselves. That Edo State deserve a homegrown solution to the many problems created by Obaseki Clueless administration. So he called on Edo people to ignore the new distraction that the PDP and their agents are trying to promote. That I don't know they carry last. So they are smart and no one can deceive them, including Obaseki, who has failed the people. Hey, <laughs> my people, they matter strong. Assistance now go like no way to not think about this issue in the comment section. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate it. See you guys next time. Till I come your winners. Stay safe, guys.